I would like to welcome back our friend Kurt, the executive director of Caddyshack Ranch. Welcome back to River City Live. Thank you so much. I love being here. This is wonderful and gives us a chance to talk about what's going on. And you know, for all the families at home, can you start off by just giving an overview of all the different things you guys are doing? Boy, it's been really an abundance of a lot of things and I'm trying to sort it out. But right now it's Kids Free November, but we're going through a huge process of renovating the whole park. And of course, taking care of animals, the visitors, the volunteers, the workers, it's all been an amazing trip. To and now. if people aren't familiar with what you guys are about, can you just give an overview of how many animals you have, the types of animals, and how big the facility is? We're over 40 animals right now. We have tigers, lions, leopards, panthers, lynx, and of course, other animals that I call honorary cats. And it's a sanctuary. It is. So for people who don't understand, if you didn't exist, what would happen to these beautiful animals? We make a commitment to make sure that the animals we take in are going to have a forever home and the best care that we can provide for them. And so for that, I look at as it's a team effort. And of course, we're caring for a lot of animals. And where are you getting these animals from? Mostly zoos that close. And I say that they're closing, they're liquidating, so a lot of the things that are left are maybe older animals, and so we provide for that. And one of the big things we talked about, and that's why I wanted to get you back on, you have a great expansion coming up, and it's really important because you're trying to provide the best facilities you can for these animals. Uh, it has really been amazing. We started with five acres, and we're over 225 acres there now, and of course, we're getting ready for a renovation. New habitats, new medical facility that's gonna provide a rehabilitation area and a recovery area. We have a medical facility now, we're just expanding on it. And look and how close you get with these animals, it's unbelievable. It's important <laughs> to work with the animals as I do a lot of medical care with the team that we work together with. And of course, the animals are all wild animals, but they're never gonna be released out into the wild. So we wanna make sure that their care is taken care of and their stress level is down to the minimum. And that's one of the things that's so remarkable. When you go out there and you visit, they seem like there's no stress at all. They're just at play. It's almost like a pet that you would have, but just a lot bigger. Like, look how you're just playing around with the lion. Uh, you know, I work with all the animals and of course it gives me an opportunity to provide a good medical care for, the t for the, all the animals that are there. And uh, I say, you know, they're always gonna be wild so they always do practice their wild capabilities. And of course they have teeth. You're right, absolutely. And I, you talk about medical care. What about food and medical care? Where does the money come from to support these animals? The, right now, and I can say, we have not had any type of grant, city or any state federal funding. It's all been done through volunteers and donations. Individuals can come out to the sanctuary. The visitors from all around the world have been coming and it has supported our growth. That is amazing. So again, it's really important to really get involved and help to support the animals. You also have that board up there where you could help out as well. That's right, we have an adoption board and a partner for PAWS. The partner for PAWS are businesses and some since we've started are up there promoting and helping us as we hope to help them as, as well. Now I remember my first time there, I was just overwhelmed by how close you actually get to the animals. And now in November, it's kids free. So I'm just thinking of the opportunity that kids get to come out there and get that close. Tigers love kids. <laughs> But it's a great thing to have them come out and maybe learn a little bit about them and get to see them up close. And that's the other part of it too. Again, you talked about how they're not stressed, the animals. So they get to walk around and they just feel at ease. But then as somebody who's observing them, you are at ease as well. It's important, you know, they have pool play, uh, enrichments. As this Sunday comes along, we're getting ready for not being open normally, but Sunday, this Sunday, all the cats are getting treats they're gonna get pumpkins. <laughs> and the pumpkins, they love taking around and making a huge mess with them. Well, so that is amazing. It's a fun activity <laughs> for them and the volunteers to clean the mess up. And one thing I just wanna let everybody know that you have two family four packs that you're giving us to give away. So just go to our Facebook Please. page. You'll see an image there and just leave a comment on why you wanna to go to learn more about the Caddyshack. You go to our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Kurt, thanks again Great. for coming on. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Right now we're gonna send it over to Rance.